Hi, my name is Kevin Reem. I'm the Vice President and General Manager at Crownline Boats. And we're here today to do a product walk around video on our brand new E27. Now we're really excited about this boat. We're delivering it to the marketplace with an all new hull design, deck design, upholstery design, helm station, and a longer list of standard features than any of its pre predecessors. Just by the way of background, the LOA on this boat is 27 feet even, 8.6 beam, estimated weight is 6,6100 pounds, and the dead rise is 19 degrees at the transom and the angle of entry is 39 degrees at the keel. This boat's got an exciting performance bottom where we've done some modifications to help improve acceleration and performance and we'll talk about that in more detail later in some of our design videos. But what I'd like to do today is take you through this boat step by step, starting with the bow, transitioning to the helm station, into the cockpit, and ending the product walk around video at the transom. So please sit back and enjoy the next few minutes as we take you through this all new exciting E27 stern drive. Now one of the questions I get asked a lot, especially at boat shows, is what is the difference between an E-Series product and one of our traditional bow riders? And the answer to that question is all of the design philosophy forward of the windshield. A traditional bow rider is more angled at the bow. And what you get from that is an option to have a windlass in, in the bigger boats, but what you lose is the option to have a forward boarding ladder. The E-Series boats keep the beam, keep the wideness of the boat farther forward. So the bow is really designed to seat more than two people. In a traditional bow rider, it's tough to get more than two people in the bow. So this is really about creating a conversation area, a dining area, uh, an area in the front of the boat where people can congregate and enjoy themselves. That's why we also design in a standard table base so that you can slip a table in there and have a conversation area or enjoy lunch. Now one of the things you get with that E-Series design is that forward four-step boarding ladder. And that's a huge philosophy in the difference between an E-Series and a traditional bow rider. And what I mean by that is the E-Series boats are all about giving the option to be able to enter and exit the boat at either the bow or the stern. Now why is that important? For people that, that beach on sandbars, for people that like to exit the boat and go swimming, they like to go ashore from time to time, you're allowed to be able to exit the boat in very, very shallow water, if you kind of beach it, drop the forward uh, boarding ladder. You may exit that boat in four to six inches of water, where at the same time in the rear of the transom, that depth might be three and a half to four feet. So if the water's cold, that's an issue. If the people exiting the boat aren't grain swimmers, that's an issue. If there's current, that could be an issue. So the whole design philosophy about the E-Series is, really comes down to the differences in the bow, the ability to enter the exit the boat from the bow or the transom, and a wide seating area. Now, let's talk about this. I'm six foot one, 205 pounds, and I can easily uh, extend my legs and sit out here and enjoy the bow. Our bows are designed very similar to some of our other boats with a 16 degree recline angle, but our new upholsteries now have what we call a pillow top headrest. It's an oversized half oval, and each side comes with an articulating armrest, so you can really sit, kick back and enjoy yourself take all the weight off. You have a full length stainless steel rail to hold on to in case a wave kicks up or rough water or chop may throw so you know put some uh, imbalance into the boat you always have something to be able to hold on to. I'd also like to point out a few of the real subtle design angles here. You'll notice our combing boxes are angled and the speakers are directed not directly at the person but directly into the cockpit so you maximize the efficiency of the sound system. Also plenty of cup holders easily in reach. Now some of the design features here in the bow are a large removable cushion and an oversized 36 quart cooler. When that's stowed back away, you have storage under both this cushion and this cushion. Pivots up and you can see the large cavernous storage that goes all the way back to the helm station. You can put your canvas, oversized items for people overnighting on the boat. I've had people tell me they store their tents up here. So there's plenty and plenty of room for anything you might bring on board. Other thing I want to point out is a crown line staple in the way we build our boats, and that is the spray in bed liner. That gray material is, is sprayed into all of our deck storage areas. It's non marring, mold and mildew resistant, wears like iron, but most importantly, when it sets up, it's watertight. So it's like a watertight interior seal on the inside of your boat. Last thing I'd like to point out in the bow is we try to go ahead and maximize every square inch for storage. And one of the things we did to, in this boat as well is added another floor storage compartment. So again, items you want to bring on board. Could be towels, could be picnic baskets, could be anything you want to have on board, especially for those folks sitting up in the bow. Easy access right to this forward bow storage. 
as we transition to the helm, there are a few subtle design philosophies I'd like to point out on our product. First of all, it's what we call water damming, and it's a radius that's tooled into the glass that runs along all the outer edge of both the cockpit and the bow. Now this is a design philosophy that we do consciously as part of our canvas installation. If you look, ever look at the underside of your bow or cockpit canvas, you'll see a rubber grommet that runs along the snap line. That rubber grommet is designed to abut this radius and provide a watertight seal around your boat. Now again, this is something special that we do. Second, I'd like to point out this really neat feature is the fender storage forward of the, of the helm station. Now this is a very, very popular feature by boaters. We have it in our 255, 75, and 85 bow rider, and now we've uh, implemented it into both the E25 and E27 E-Series boat as well. Very popular feature because it allows you quick access to the fenders if you're going to tie up, and also easy access to pull them out if you're going to go dock the boat. So really nice feature um, that we've incorporated into this new design. One of the other uh, standard equipment features I'd like to point out is these flush mount bow cockpit doors. Now again, these allow you to close off the bow from the cockpit. This is particularly important if you're out in the water at night and the, and the weather changes dramatically. That cold air can really come into that cockpit area and by having the ability to close off this door, it keeps the people in the cockpit protected and much warmer. Next I want to talk about the windshield landing and one of the staples that we have is standard equipment and that is our stainless steel windshield lock. We do that standard on all of our product, 21 and up. And what I mean by that is if you've ever been on the water, hit a wave, or had a wind gust come up, what will happen is if you have the windshield open, it can slam shut. And that's a real safety issue for small children or even adults. And so what we do standard, all of our boats, 215 and up, we put a stainless steel windshield lock. That way, when the windshield is open and people are walking from the bow to the cockpit, this is protected from slamming shut. Real important safety feature and convenient feature for all of our retail customers. As we transition into the cockpit and talk about both the helm station and the oversized head compartment, I do really want to take a minute to talk about that because one of our greatest design successes is how we're able to deliver an oversized head compartment in a boat of this size. Again, I'm six foot one, 205 pounds, and I can actually get in and use this head compartment for what it's designed for. You can also, based on its design, step down into the head. We have a non-slip mat. We have a electric pump out toilet. We have a sink with a removable faucet so you can actually use this as a showering area to shower off if you've been at the beach all day and it's self-draining so as you wash the dirt and sand off you it drains into the bilge and out of the boat. One of the other nice design features you'll notice for 2018 is we upgraded all of our head compartments and went to granite countertops in the head to, to accompany the stainless steel sinks. So again one of the big uh, design philosophies between Crownline and its competition is actually designing head compartments that are big enough to be used for other than just storage. The last thing I'd point out on this is we even had our attention to detail with the way we tooled in additional storage into the head compartment door. We have a shelf here and then we also have a netting here. So the bottom line, we're again looking to maximize the storage area and the application of how you can use your head compartment to enjoy your full day on the water. One of the things we'd like to talk about now is our exciting new helm station on the C27. And there's a lot of subtle uh, design differences between us and our competition. And it starts with our redundancy of the systems that we built into our design. So what does that mean? It means our helm station comes with both a set of analog gauges and also a digital 7-inch Raymarine touchscreen. The 7-inch touchscreen comes with the gateway cable, so you have all of your engine information and fuel flow. It also comes standard with the Navionics Plus chip for mapping. So those are some extra features that we provide to our customers right out of the gate, which are surely expensive options from all of our competitors. The other thing I'd like to point out is all of our boats 25 foot and up come standard with the Black Diamond Stainless Center steering wheel. Now that's an exciting look that kind of complements the double stitching hand wrap brow of this new helm station. It's also based on a format of rack and pinion steering and a tilt wheel. Next I want to talk about our technology advantage that comes with our Raymarine systems as well. And what do I mean by that? One of the features that we offer all of our customers and dealer partners is that we download our owner's manuals into a PDF file right onto that Raymarine system. So if you're ever on the water and a question about the operation of your boat comes up, you can quickly and easily access the complete documentation of your owner's manual. Second, the other thing we provide is a tutorial on your canvas. 
Now whether it's sold, your boat is sold with the optional uh, arch like we're showing this boat or the standard bimini top. We come with a canvas tutorial that shows you the step-by-step -step setup instructions on how to put your canvas up or take it down in any kind of weather conditions. That's a big help, especially if it's not something you do all the time, and we don't want you to be confused or scared by setting up your canvas. So it's another customer service feature that we like to bring to the marketplace. Next, I want to talk about our bucket seats. So the comfort of driving the boat has a lot to do with the overall experience. And all of our boats, 21 and up, come with a premium performance bucket seat. Now how can you tell the base bucket seat from the premium performance bucket seat? Any of our bucket seats that come with the stainless steel logo and accent in the back are the highest end bucket seats that we offer. And those all come with a shock absorbing spring loaded base system that absorbs any kind of a pounding on rough water. So it's a shock absorbing seat base. Both the passenger and the driver come with flip up bolsters and these seats are designed to spin 360 and slide forward and aft. And I want to give you a, just a quick lesson again on the operation of our bucket seats. If you reach down, you'll find a triangular control panel. If you turn it to the right, the, the bucket spins either left or right. If you turn that same handle to the left, it slides forward and aft. And it's through those components that you can spin it 360 and slide it forward and aft. That way someone that was looking forward in the boat can easily turn the bucket seat around and be part of a conversation in the cockpit. As we transition through the cockpit, this is where Crownline really starts to separate itself from the competition. And we do so by providing best in class storage on our boats, starting with our oversized cockpit storage. You can see that I'm standing inside it. It's a large uh, area for all of the uh, objects and, uh, and items you might bring on board, such as wakeboards, surfboards, water skis, water tubes, anything you might bring on board that's kind of a big bulky item will more than be accommodated in this floor storage. Second thing I'd like to point out is also one of our design philosophies, how we've designed in the undermount cockpit storage drawer. So when you're not using your cockpit table for a dining area or dinette area or cocktail hour, you can easily stow it away, push it back out of the way, and then have access to everything you have here in your floor storage. Third, I'd like to point out the fact that we have an oversized RTM lid. And what I mean by RTM means the finished A and B side. And I'd also like to point out that anytime we have a lid that's supported by a shock, we use only stainless steel components. As we continue to transition to the transom of the boat, a couple of uh, really key design features I'd like to point out here as well. Not only is this a great little seating area behind the helm station, but it also provides home to the second carry-on cooler. It's designed in with a custom fit combing box so that it's easily pulled out, put back in, and the handles lock in place. It's also designed into this uh, location so that when you enter and exit the boat at the rear of the transom, it's one of the first things you can easily grab or have access to uh, for your day on the water. When it's not in use, the seat snaps back in place and it's a great place to enjoy the sun. On the rear port side of the cockpit, there's a couple of uh, real intricate design features I'd like to point out. First, all the lean backs are designed with a 13 uh, degree lean back and it's really designed to hit you right below the middle of the shoulder blade. So it's really, really a comfortable seat. And that the design angle is designed into the full wraparound all the way through the rear sun deck portion of the boat. Second, I'd like to talk about what I call hands-free lids. And what the benefit of that is, is that as you open these lids, they're able to sustain themselves in the open position. That way, you can carry items into the boat and not have to struggle holding up the cushion with one arm and loading items into the second. We've designed this hands-free feature into both of the cushions in the cockpit. So you can have complete access to this huge storage area and have your hands free to load and unload items. Again, just for reference, I want to step down in and show you how deep this oversized storage up becomes high up on my thigh. And again, we ship our canvas, uh, the standard bow and cockpit canvas, uh, with our boats inside this area to our dealers. Um, and with that said, you still have plenty of room for any items you might carry on board. On the technical side, one of the other things that's really important about our design philosophy here is in this rear access panel is also where we put the standard dual battery switch. So you have easy access to your battery panel. If you want to switch from the starting battery to the secondary battery or both, you can easily do that based on the access and the installation of the dual battery switch right here. Sitting here in the, in the sunbed of our E-Series is where our design philosophy really starts to separate ourselves from the competition. 
And what I mean by that is we were first to bring to the market the seat base that folds out without the use of filler cushions. Then we refined that design to the second generation where it's a fingertip release electric seat base. Now you can stop this seat base in any position so you can sit off the back on a rear three quarter or if you want to enjoy the sun for the day you just fully extend it and you have approximately a six foot sunbed area to lay out and enjoy the sun. Again you're never fumbling with the use of filler cushions and when you're not uh, when you're done laying out just hit the button retracts it back. And the other other special thing about this design is the access to the engine compartment. For those do-it-yourselfers, for those tech guys that really like to uh, service their own engines and have access to the engine compartment, it's a fingertip release, two large stainless steel shocks, pick up the whole seat base and you have complete access to all of the area around your engine compartment and any of the ancillary items of your engine compartment. A couple of key things to point out. One. We seal that engine compartment with a special compression tape that is waterproof at the 50% seal. When the engine uh, uh, hatch is down and in its position, that compresses more than 50% and provides a watertight seal to keep water out from entering the engine compartment. Second, although the pin's not in place, we also have a small 10-inch cable as a secondary lanyard that is an easy slip pin that fits in that keeps this uh, engine hatch in a locked position so it can never open all the way unless you remove that safety pin. Next I want to point out a couple of other design philosophies. Now these are things that Crownline does standard that most of our competitors omit altogether or charge extra for. And one is the stainless steel uh, embedded and designed transom gate. It's a small little gate but it allows you to close off your cockpit from the transom or swim platform area of the boat. This way if you have pets, small children, and you want to have that added feature of safety to keep them in that protected cockpit, you can easily do that by closing off the transom gate. Again, the design philosophy is that everything is within reach. Everybody sitting in the cockpit has easy access to a stainless steel grab handle, a combing box, cup holders, the fingertip control for the seat base. It's really a well thought out design so that you're never more than arm's length away from everything you're going to need to enjoy your day on the water. This brings us to the rear swim platform of the boat and truth be told there's an awful lot of time spent in the back of the boat especially if you tie up with other folks or your kids enjoy the, uh, time in the water. It's nice for parents to be able to sit in the back and keep their eyes on their kids the whole time they're in the water. Now when you're sitting back here there's lots of things to enjoy. First I want to bring attention to a trademark name of Crownline which is the Social Swim Transom Design. And we brought this to the marketplace in 2002, 2003. And what it really is, it's where you design a philosophy into the back of the boat that manages your entertainment systems. We have eight splash-proof wet sound speakers on this boat. Two of them are designed into the rear of the boat specifically so you can enjoy the entertainment while you're in the water. Also that goes along with the system is a LCD transom remote. It's a fingertip and allows you to control all of your entertainment right from the back of the boat. The other important feature I want to point out on this boat is the standard battery charger. Now this is a three bank battery charger and so at the end of the day after you've been on the water running your batteries all day, starting batteries, uh, maybe you run your stereo all day, you come back to your garage or your slip and all you have to do is plug this in and it, it charges all of your batteries. So the battery charger in combination with your standard dual battery switch should mean you never have an issue with getting access to your batteries or having to service your batteries. All you have to do is plug in and go. Next I want to point out the soft touch uh, platform mat with the designed in Crownline logo. It's a soft touch mat that is slip resistant so again when it gets wet or even if you're boating in the fall and you get some frost on that surface it's a non-slip surface to really help uh, provide a safety to enter and exit the boat either from the dock or out of the water. The next feature I want to point out is the standard transom shower and again if you've been in the water all day you've been on the sandbar uh, maybe you, you've uh, got a little dirty, you're able to come up onto the swim platform, hose off, and that way you can keep all the dirt and grime out, uh, washing out of the boat before you enter into the cockpit. The last thing to point out would be this. This is the second um, four-step boarding ladder that we have on this boat. We talked about the, the bow ladder early in the product walk around. Now we're talking about the transom. Uh, the other important feature to point out is it's four steps. It extends deep into the water. But the last thing I want to point out is this tooled in hand grip. So again, it's a non-slip, uh, sure, what I call a sure grab, uh, grab handle because only in a boat show or a dealer showroom is the boat going to be sitting static. Meaning if you're in the water, it's always moving around and it's wet. And so to have that built in grip really helps you hold on and maintain 
your grip onto that ladder as you enter into the boat. The other thing is that's why this full length um, ski tow rail and I are designing the boat as well. So as you transition up, you're stepping up, you grab that handle, you reach forward and you grab the second handle as you enter into the boat. Again, it's a nice little safety feature that we put into our product.